It is time for another theme park coasting top 10 video where we count down the top 10 rides and attractions at theme parks all around the world. So join me today as we count down the top 10 rides at Pacific Park Santa Monica. Starting off at number 10 we have Seaside Swing and if you enjoyed swinging on a swing as a kid you will love this attraction. Located on the centre of a pier, this giant swing unfortunately does not rock you over the water but still is loved by guests of all ages with its simple rocking sensation for a 2 minute duration of the ride. Like the majority of attractions on this list too, at night this ride is lit up making it look 10 times more magical. 3, 2, 1, let's lift off with Inky and his airlift. This ride is definitely for the children at the park and by looking at the size of the cars I think you can see why. However the reason why we put it at number 9 is because with the mix of a teacup run hot air balloon ride it can be very fun and a little intense to be spinning around while the hot air balloon rises up and down almost to like 5 feet. Honestly though as long as you can fit in the car I would recommend a ride. Have you ever wanted to bounce like a frog? Well it's never been a life aim for me but if so at number 8 we have Frog Hopper. Standing at 15 feet and consisting of a very fun bouncing feeling as you rise up and down. This is one of the most popular family rides at the park and therefore with there only being one of these getting hit at the start of the day would be best to avoid those long queues causing some guests to be a little bit unhoppy. At number 7 spot, Sigala EV is the most futuristic bumper cars that I have ever seen. By using the interactive joystick you can make your electric vehicle go left, back and forwards as well as right. Here comes the cool part though, as while doing that you can also spin 360 degrees which is so unique and really brings your typical bumper cars to the next level. The only criticism we have though is that when riding you can't really move around a lot as they are literally cramming so many cars into the space provided. Nevertheless it is still a great ride for the family. For our number 6 spot we have chosen Shark Frenzy and to be honest I wasn't going to put it at this spot however there is just some about this ride <laughs> with it bringing the shark overlay to a classic amusement ride and since its debut in spring 2017 guests have always enjoyed including myself sitting on the shark's mouth for a pretty crazy ride the best way to describe it is that your car is sitting on a turntable which is on another turntable which both spin providing a jawsome experience like no other Okay, my puns are now finished. <laughs> oh god. Top 5, what, what, or should I say, ah, uh, ah. Uh. As for this position, Pacific Plunge will make your heart drop, quite literally. If you think Frog Hopper is tame, give this ride a go, as at the height of 44 feet off the pier and 90 feet over the bay, not only can you get some stunning views across the ocean, but the bouncing aspect gives a lot of airtime for a family ride. Situated next to the Ferris wheel too, if you can get some pretty awesome photos of both the feel and vice versa before you plummet back to the pier deck. Let's take sails across the seven seas as at number four, Sea Dragon is the park swinging pirate ship. Named in remembrance of the now abandoned Sea Serpent wooden coaster, you will board one of the many rows on this two headed ship. Our suggestion is the back or the front for the most intense experience as when rising up and down at the back you reach 40 feet and almost 90 degrees. This ride is so intense in fact that the park was asked to install a separate sound barrier on the ride to prevent the riders being heard from all the way down the beach. So if that doesn't make you want to ride what will? It is time for our top 3 rides at the park and coming in at number 3 we have in my opinion the most intense ride on the pier. Inky Scrambler. 
where you can join our friend Inky again and spin our hearts without content. Previously located in the United Kingdom as well as Australia before being moved to California, this ride sure has its history, but with it being such a good ride, I think it is now perfectly positioned inside the West Coast's elevated steel track in 2001. The way that this ride works though is basically you and three others seat on a seat which will spin on an axis while that also spins on a central hub. Like an old fashioned egg scrambler making it definitely a ride for the thrill seekers out there and one that should definitely be ridden on your bucket list if you want an intense experience. For our number 2 spot we are rising into the air with Pacific Wheel. Located on the centre of pier since its debut in 1996, this attraction is really the park's icon and one which you need to ride no matter whether you are scared of heights or short on time as this classic ferris wheel really is spectacular. I'm not going to explain how it works as I think it's quite self explanatory but I will talk about how it looks at night. Absolutely amazing especially if you can get the California sunset for us a trip to Pacific Pier is not complete without a ride on Pacific Wheel. Finally we have made it to our number one spot and the ride which is taking this position is West Coaster. This is the only roller coaster situated on the park itself and from the second that you leave the 55 feet lift hill you will be in for a treat. Elements include the famous two 540 degree helixes as well as many twist turns and airtime hills making this old seaside coaster which opened on the same year as the Pacific Wheel still to this day very fun for the whole family. Also a quick tip from us is to smile on those two airtime hills as your photo will be taken either with you have a happy face or scared of this fantastic coaster. That is it from our top 10 video today. Obviously you all have your own opinions and we would love to see them in the comment section below. Also if you enjoyed the video at the top we have got two videos that we know you will love and at the bottom there is our Patreon page as well as subscribe button but with all that said there is only one thing left to say. My name is Tom Derrick from Theme Park Coasting and I will see you for the next video. Goodbye.